everyone, here's Mike, Purity Sim, and uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different than you uh, usually will see on this channel. There's no uh, flying in VR, but uh, today I want to uh, present to you a, a small util for Windows. Well, it's not small. Well, it is small, but it's huge. It's really huge, and it does so many things. And it's called the Win Util by uh, Chris Titus Tech. And this is the uh, GitHub page. Oh, here we go. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Like this. Here we go. All right. So, what this do do does uh, Chris Titus Tech Win Util? You go here, down here, you see the pre release 2407.17. That's the latest one. When you scroll down, this is what the util looks like. And I will open it uh, in a second. Um, here you find out on the GitHub page how to run it. We're going to use the right click method this way for our Windows 10 or Windows 11. And all you have to do is what is set here and then a lot of things are automated a uh, lot of contributors to this util and uh, this is one of the uh, must-have tools that uh, you know, if you are a um, PC user and also a flight simmer well, most of you are otherwise you wouldn't be on this channel um, you need to have this one on your computer it's so easy let me show you. So the right click method is one. Right click on the start menu, then choose Windows PowerShell admin for Windows 10 or terminal admin for Windows 11. And then we have to copy this text at the command prompt. So I'm going to copy it now. Right click on the start menu, terminal admin, that's for Windows 11. And the terminal will open and we're gonna paste the text that we just copied here we go and then press enter Chris Titus tag Windows toolbox now let's get the github page out of the way let's move this one to this side let's move this one somewhere here all right so this is the window and let me make it larger if you click double click here you make it smaller double click again you go go to full screen so you got the few tabs on the top it's install tweaks config updates and micro win so the first one is installed you can install different utilities that are all listed here they're all safe to work with so you can choose what kind of browser you want arc brave chrome chromium ads Falcon, Firefox, you name it. Communications. You want to install Signal, Skype, Slack, Teams. And then there are some things in development for games. You find here, for example, the virtual desktop streamer, SideQuest VR, Steam, uh, Microsoft tools. You have here you got the PowerShell, Power Toys, um, the multimedia tools all uh, media players image viewers all kind of things this one is um, a lot of uh, flight simmers use that one is for voice meter potato if you want to uh, create a virtual audio cable that works great then you got some pro tools it's not that much here and then you get to the utilities now here it's, it's getting a really important uh, or really important you got 7-zip here, so you can download the 7-zip all right from here. All you have to do is give it a check mark. If you want, let's see, CPU Z, want to read all the data from your CP, uh, CPU, or you have the GPU Z, which comes from uh, Tech Power Up site. All these things you have here. Joy to Key, if you want to um if you have a uh, a gamepad or a joystick and you want to assign um, a button on your joystick or on your gamepad to a keystroke that is used in the sim you can use this program joy to key
and the utilities goes even further you got msi afterburner if you want to overclock your video card and then there is the nv clean install for the um, for nvidia drivers Uh, process lasso to uh, to make sure that you don't have too many programs running in the background um, and many 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 more also very good uh, uninstallers like the Revo uninstaller this one is really great uh, you can uninstall and then after the un uninstallation it will scan your system your right re registry for um, leftovers and then you can delete them as well so you can delete everything from that uh, uninstall really great better than the uh, default uninstaller for windows which leaves a lot of uh, traces of the program on your system and there's also the wise program uninstaller the wise cleaner also a very good one so you see you get a lot of utilities that you can install here so how do you do that um you just click on one let's say uh, we want uh, adobe acrobat reader adobe acrobat reader you click here you go to install upgrade selected i'm installing it and you see here it's installing it's downloading And then uh, it's almost finished. It's now installing it. Successfully verified installer has starting package install. So now it's installing. So you see what I uh, what I mean. So we'll let this finish, and we'll uh, jump to the uh, the other tab here. Here is a very important one, and that is uh, tweaks. For tweaks, all you have to do is choose from the essential tweaks. Don't go to the advanced tweaks. It says caution. So don't use these because they will mess up your system or can mess up your system if you uh, disable things that you're not supposed to disable. So up here, you got the standard. This is those one. Minimal. You can clear them or get installed. Now let's see if everything is there. It's no, still busy with installing um, Adobe Acrobat Reader. So you click on standard and then it will create a restore point, delete temporary files, disable consumer features, all these things. And you're gonna disable a lot of, lot of things on your PC, which you really don't need. So these are the essential tweaks. Once you've clicked that, you just click here on run tweaks and it will run again here in the background. Now you see Adobe Acrobat Reader has been finished and I got it now on my, uh, on my, on my computer. To uninstall it again, I go in here, Adobe Acrobat Reader, uninstall selected. Just click here and it will uninstall. I'll keep it because I really uh, need a good PDF viewer. So I'm using that one. So back to tweaks. These are selected from standard. Then run tweaks. And you will see it running here in the background. Sometimes you have to click on a second window that pops up, especially for the... Uh, uh, restore point and for the disk cleanup. Then on the right hand side, you got the customized preferences. That is uh, enable dark theme for Windows, uh, enable Bing search in the start menu. I don't want Bing search in my start menu. So you can enable or disable several things. Down here you will find Add and Activate Ultimate Performance Profile. So if I'm going to look at my performance profile now, so I'm going to my power panel, you see it is on Balanced. I have a high performance and I got a power saver. 
or you want to run the sim you want to be on a high performance profile um, so let's go out of there go to tweaks add and activate here you see it's already done ultimate performance plan installed ultimate performance plan is now active go back to config go back to the power panel I'm on the ultimate performance plan Pro provides ultimate performance on higher end PCs and you can change the settings as well um, I don't want to turn off my display and then save the changes easy easy does it um, you don't need to do the uh, here in the config panel the features what you can do if you're running into a problem is do a system corruption scan back to tweaks create win util shortcut once you're there click on here and you will create a shortcut for this program that's not installed on your computer but it is installed or it runs from the internet and you can quickly uh, activate this program so that's one thing that you really have to do now in here you can go to all your legacy panels for your sound settings so you go to your Windows legacy sound panel the one that we used to know for your network connections your region and user accounts now the most important one for this uh, this from this program is the security settings for the updates Windows updates so it's not updates for WinUtil but updates for Windows you got the default out of the box settings that's default settings that come with Windows these are the recommended settings it will delay feature updates by two years so if you are an HP Reverb G2 owner and you are afraid that then when there's the 24H2 Windows update which uh, will no longer support Windows Mixed Reality click this and you're good for two years no Windows update no 24H2 it will be delayed by two years the security updates which are important they are uh, updated four days after the release Windows uh, the security updates normally comes out on uh, Tuesday so you delay them by four days that it's uh, Saturday Friday Saturday if there are any flaws in the security update they will be fixed by Friday so delaying it for four days will make sure that you will have a good security update uh, feature updates adds features and often bugs to systems when they are released so you want to delay them as long as possible in security updates you, you can read it all here all right these are not recommended and that is disable all updates unless you have a standalone computer or I don't know but that's not recommended the middle one the security settings those are recommended micro win we're not going into micro win because that's for uh, making a windows iso file to install windows on uh, different computers if you want to do that um, just read about or watch the uh, youtube from uh, chris titus now there's another thing here on tweaks and that is run 00 shut up 10 what this does if you click on this one it will open a new window here and I already um, did it you can disable several security things and tracking things that you don't need or don't want um, disable showing suggested content in the settings app disable tips and tricks um, app privacy disable app access to user account information disable Windows tracking and there are many many more things so what you can do is go to actions 
and then apply only recommended settings. I already did that. So I go to here and then it is um, for Windows. We don't need that. It's been done, but I already did it. So I don't have to do it again. But you disable a lot of things that you don't need. Disable and reset Cortana, Windows Copilot. We don't need that. And a lot of tracking that Windows does is disabled now. So your computer is just a little bit more safe and secure. And then you just click out and you have to... Uh, probably restart it once you've uh, changed it. I didn't do any changes, so I don't have to restart the PC. All right, guys. So that's all about this tool, which is really, really handy and very important to do, uh, to have it on your system. And once you did the uh, setup 10 and this one for the tweaks, you will see that in your um, task manager, if you look at your processes, that there will be less processes running in the background, which means your computer has some more headroom and you probably gain a little bit of performance out of it. It's not massive, it's not a game changer, but uh, less processes running in the background means there's more for the computer to compute for the sim. I th that's my opinion in that and I think um, a lot of others have the same opinion so I'll leave the link for this one in the description below the video and um, try it out if it doesn't work for you just reset everything to standard because that's very easy to do if you go here to tweaks you go to clear and you said you undo selected tweaks or you go, you said, well, oh, I had these tweaks, undo selected tweaks. It will undo it for you. It's that easy. And the win util shortcut, you need that one because when I click out of this one and this one, you will see here, I have the win util on my desktop. I open it and now the screen comes as a blue screen and the Windows YouTube will start. All right, so if for all these settings that you had here, for all the programs you had, um, you once you selected a few, let's just select a few, you can go to export, save it as a JSON file, and save it somewhere on your computer. And once you, uh, if you want to reinstall all of them, you just go to import. And now I go to my desktop, desktop, and I got my setup JSON. I open it and see those are the ones that I have selected. And I just have to go to install upgrade selected or uninstall selected if I don't want them anymore. Easy. All right, guys, this was it. This was the... Uh, a very important tutorial that I think everyone should use. If you like these uh, kind of videos, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. It will help out a lot. We're on our way to 3000 subscribers. So um, almost there. And uh, from 3000, we go to 5000 and more. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.